All right, guys. So have you ever been playing your chord keyboard and you were browsing through sounds trying to find uh, some sounds that you want to make a layer or a combination with? And you found this awesome sound in program mode and it sounded like great. And you're like, OK, yeah, I want to put this in my combi. And so you're playing it in, in uh, program mode and it sounds like this. Oh, yeah, man, that's awesome. I love how that sounds. I want to put it inside my combi. And then you go to combi mode, push the mode button, go to combi, find your sound, D073. And then you play it here, and it sounds like this. You're like, what happened? The sound sounds completely different now. It's because you haven't routed your effects. And that's the quick tip for num for Korg Nautilus quick tips number two. Got to learn how to route your effects. Route your effects and adding effects from program mode into comedy. So let's show you how to do that. All right, so here we have a sound. Um, when we were in program mode, it had this awesome delay on it. And then when we got into um, combi mode, it was just like completely dry. So I'm just going to show you how to add the effects from your programs into your combis. So all you got to do is you're in combi mode. You want to push the page button. And you want to go to eye effects. All right, so you see here in eye effects that there are no effects here. And let's go back and look at this sound in program mode. So in program mode, go to ifx and we have a stereo compressor a delay and a limiter these are the sounds that we have as our insert effects and our master effects we have a chorus a reverb and a limiter a limiter in the total effects all right so what made this sound sound like it's sounding is that delay all right so if we turn off let's see if we turn off the Compressor and the limiter. Let's see what we get. That's the important part of the sound. The compressor helps add a little bit to the sound and the limiter does as well. But the delay is what gives that sound that unique character that you're probably liking and loving and wanting inside of your combi. So we need to get that delay just like it is into our combi. So all we have to do is we go back to combination mode. And while we're, com while we're in combination mode, we go to page push the page button which is that button on the right side of the keyboard push the page button and then from there we're going to go to ifx all right so from here this is the screen where you're going to route all of your sounds all right so route all your sounds to effects so we're just really trying to copy sounds or copy the effects from one of our sounds all right so all we have to do is we're going to push this drop down button we're going to go to copy insert effect we're going to go to program from here Push program, and we're going to find the sound that we want to get the effect from. It was D73. So we're going to pull up the sound by double clicking that or clicking it if it's already selected. We're going to go to bank list. We're going to select sound number D. We bank D, and then we're going to find sound 73. Uniformity, same sound that we were using before. All right. Now that's one thing you can do to find it, or again, copy insert effect, you go to the name, and it, they even let you type the name in. So we're gonna go uniformity. There it is. All right, so we want to copy just the IFX that made the sound sound 
made the sound unique to us. And like I told you, that was probably just a delay. So instead of, because we only have, uh, is it 12 slots or 16 slots? We have 12 slots for IFX. So we can't just copy everything. We have to be smart with what we're using. All right. And we'll talk about that more in depth when we build our combis from scratch in another video. All right. So we're going to go again to this drop down, go to copy insert effect. We have uniformity select selected. We're going to go I effects two. All right. And we're going to copy it to any one of those 12 slots. All right. So just for the sake of the video, let's go. We're going to copy it to IFX1 since that's the only effects we're using. Push OK. And it's going to copy the IFX from slot 2 in the program from uniformity straight to IFX1 with all of its settings. See that? Now we have a stereo delay there. So now we're ready, right? Our sound is going to sound the same. All right, let's play it. No delay. All right. There's no delay there. The reason is because we haven't routed it yet. All right. So let's look at how to route the sounds in the combis to the effects. All right. So here, all you're going to do is you you have your sound in slot number one, uniformity. All right. So again, you go to page, IFX. And you go to slot one here. So these 16 columns represent the 16 sounds within your uh, combination. All right. So you're going to select right here where it says bus select IFX individual out assign. We're going to go right here. We're going to click this LR because right now it's sending your program out the left and right output, but it's not sending it to any effects. And what you want to do, you want to send it to effects because that's what's going to make it sound the way you want it to sound. So you just have to route it to the IFX. All you have to do is click the LR and then we're going to push IFX1. And it's going to draw a line showing us that sound number one is going to the stereo BPM delay now. So now your sound should sound this way you want it to sound. Let's see. No more dry sounds. Now you know how to copy IFX from programs to combi. And now you know how to route your now you know how to and now you know how to route your sounds within your combi to those effects. I hope this quick tip helped you guys out. If you would please consider subscribing to the channel. Well, let me say this. If these kind of tips help you, if you enjoy the information, if you learn something from it, please consider subscribing. Also, like, share, and comment because they help the channel. All right. I would love to see things that you guys would like to learn about. I'd like to see things that you guys like about the videos, things that you don't like about the videos because I'm here for you guys, here to help you guys out. So I hope you learned something today. hope you gained something today. And I hope you enjoyed this quick tip about the Korg Nautilus. Have a great day.